The third control of the equipment category is called cabling security, mainly power and telecommunication cabling. This control is concerned with the protection of those cables from environmental and human damage, intentional or accidental. All equipment and facilities need power to operate, which is transmitted over power cables. The electrical wiring of cables should be planned properly, and all related design and layout documents should be maintained and backed up. Telecommunication cables layout should be isolated and separated from power cables, to avoid electromagnetic interference, which could affect the data being transmitted. The use of fiber optic cabling is an option to avoid this interference. The layout of cables should not be easily accessible for personnel, to avoid accidental damage or intentional sabotage. Laying the cables underground is a good practice, however, any future projects that require excavation should be planned carefully to avoid damage to existing layouts. To ensure higher security, armored cables should be used, cabling rooms and patch panels should be secured, physical labels should be used, and physical inspections should be performed.